In this TaxLayer Pro training video, we'll go over some of the features in PaperCut. First of all, let's go over the steps in creating a client's folder on our hard drive that will contain PDF copies of our client's tax return. I've opened up a tax return here, and what I'm going to do now is exit the return by clicking the exit button here. I'm now on the receipt menu and I'm going to go ahead and exit the receipt menu. The program asks me, do you wish to print the return to PDF? I'm going to answer yes. And we're going to do one copy federal and state. I'm going to click OK. And at this point, the program generates a PDF copy of the client's return and it's also created a folder with this client's social security number on my hard drive. So I'm going to close out the PDF copy. I'm back at the main menu of the program. Now let's see if we can locate that folder with this client's social security number. I've opened up Windows File Explorer and I'm now going to open up my C drive which is the drive on my computer where the TaxSlayer program is loaded. I've found the TaxSlayer folder. I'm going to double click on that TaxSlayer folder to open that. And I see a folder here labeled 2014 PDFs. I'm going to double click that folder to open it. Within that folder is another folder labeled Tax Returns. I'm going to double click that folder to open it. And here is my client's folder that I just created with that client's social security number on my hard drive. If I double click that folder to open it, I see that I've created a PDF copy located in this folder of my client's return. It's got a date and a timestamp, so I know the date and the time that this PDF copy of my client's tax return was created. So that if any other updates are made to my client's tax return, I'll create another copy, another PDF copy of my client's tax return in this folder, and the date and the timestamp will change. So just to be clear, if I make changes to my client's tax return within the TaxLayer software, as I exit the return and create a PDF, I'll now have a second PDF copy of my client's return with a date and a timestamp here. We could open that PDF in the program showing the changes that we made to the client's return. In other words, you have a history of all of the changes made to your client's tax return within this client's folder. Now one other important point about pointing you to this client's folder. If my client brought in some documents to be scanned, uh, a house closing statement, a driver's license, birth certificate, whatever the case may be, and I wanted to scan those documents to this client's folder, I would use my scanning software to point to this client's folder. And Once again, the path is my hard drive, the tax layer folder, 2014 PDFs, and then tax returns. I would point my scanning software to this client's folder to be sure that whatever I scanned in was saved into this particular client's folder on my hard drive. Alright, I'm back at the main menu of the software now and let's assume that I want to open up the PDF copy of that client's return that we just generated. Now, remember I showed you where the PDF copy is located on my hard drive, but that PDF, that file copy on my hard drive, I can't open it directly by clicking on it. That file is encrypted. I can only open that PDF copy of my client's return while in the software here. So what I'm going to do first is click on the paper cut icon. I'm going to click on the tax returns tab to bring it forward and here's the copies of all the clients returns that I've done so far and I'm going to locate that clients return the one that we just created double click on that file here's the file name the date modified the size double click on that and I can open up and print the PDF of this clients tax return 
Now, remember I told you uh, earlier as we were pointing to the location on my hard drive that if you could point your scanner, your scanning software, to that folder. A quicker way to scan a document into this client's folder would be to use the little scan button right here. So if I click on that, I have some choices here. If I have a Motorola handheld scanner, I could use that. If I have a desktop scanner, I could use that. Or I could simply select a file on my hard drive that I wanted to copy into this client's folder. So this is a quick and easy way to scan documents into this client's folder while I've got it open. Now I'm back at the main menu of the software. Now let's look at another really great feature of PaperCut. I'm going to go up to the PaperCut icon, open it. Now let's say for instance I want to email my client a PDF copy of his return. I'm going to click on that email tab to bring it forward and notice I don't have any clients showing up in here so I'm going to put a check in the box to show all I'm going to find that client's return that we just worked on, double click it, and I'm going to add a copy of his PDF to this email. The email that I'm going to send has some text already enclosed. Please find attached your tax information. This file is password protected and it's protected by the last four digits of the primary taxpayer social security number. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to attach the PDF copy of this client's return. And let's say I want to send him the second or the most recent copy of his tax return. So I'm going to select that. I don't have another file to attach, but if I did, I could just simply hit the drop down menu and it will show all of the PDF documents, all of the scanned documents in this client's folder. And then I just simply hit the send, uh, send button. Tells me that the email was sent successfully. I hit OK. And my client now has access to an email copy of his tax return.